Hello, everybody. It's another Lions Table. Welcome. Do not rely on or insist that your imagination for what is and is not the truth about anything, as well as the information you have been given outside the Bible, is from God, unless that information comes directly from him found in his word, the Bible. God, God's word never changes. While that is absolutely true, God's word never promises to answer every human question. But it does promise to be the basis of truth for the understanding of all things. And that can be found in Psalms 86, verse 11, Proverbs 30, verse 5, John 1, verse 14, John 17, verse 17, and 2 Timothy 3, 16. Also, Psalms 86, 11, Proverbs 30, chapter, verse 5. Anyway, um, when we lease our th base our thinking on God's authoritative word, we can confidently answer questions about the world and life. Yes, indeed. Do not rely on or insist that your imagination for what is and is not the truth about anything dwell in your heart or your mind because God's truth is in his word. You know, uh, Paul wrote his first letter to the Corinthians and he told them his confidence was not in his own lofty speech or wisdom, but in the work of Christ, his word, and the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's 1 Corinthians 2. Go ahead. The Apostle John also displayed this confidence that the Holy Spirit gives all believers sufficient knowledge of the truth. Uh, it says in 1 John 2, 20-21, But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Our confidence lies in the truth God has revealed to us through the gospel and the illuminating work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reading from Proverbs 3, 1 through 12. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. My children, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments, for they will add length to your days, years, and peace to your life. Never let loving devotion or faithlessness leave you, faithfulness leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. And then you will find favor and high regard in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Indeed, be not wise in your own eyes. That means do not be impressed with your own wisdom. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. The Lord's ways are higher than ours. This will bring healing to your body and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your harvest. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not reject the discipline of the Lord and do not loathe his rebuke. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves, as does a father, the son in whom he delights. Though we seek to understand what is going on around us, we should be of comfort that God is with us. We may not be able to get at the root cause of evil. We see that, but we have comfort knowing that God's word never changes. Aside of God's word, God still allows for truths to be spoken by prophets, messengers, watchmen, to call out what they see so that we may not be caught unaware. Now, we here at Lion's Table, formerly the watch, Watchman's Table, we try to do that. Ultimately, folks, we ask that you read God's word every day. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Do not forget his teaching, but let your heart keep his commandments, for they will add length length to your days, years, and peace to your life. You know, that is being a citizen of heaven. The kingdom, it is kingdom living. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his kind deeds. He who forgives all your iniquities and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with loving devotion and compassion. Psalms 103, verses 2 through 4. We thank you for joining us for this line's table. We hope it's been a blessing. Please join us again next time.